Masali, dressed in pyjamas, has sensationally quit as Ipswich mayor following explosive revelations. He claims to be standing aside over ill health, but Nine News can reveal allegations he was intercepted by federal police while carrying a bag with $50,000 in cash. In a dressing gown, pyjama pants and bed socks. It's um, a very sad day for me and a very emotional day. The man known as Australia's most popular politician makes a sudden shock exit. This is about um, my announcement in regards to the, the position of mayor. Um, I have resigned. Paul Pasali quitting his job after 13 years as Ipswich mayor, 26 on council, claiming his health is giving out after years battling multiple sclerosis. When multiple sclerosis starts affecting your um, uh, judgment and your ability to do your job 100%, it's time to, to look after it. But Nine News can reveal explosive allegations that on May 13, Pasali was intercepted by AFP officers at Melbourne Airport on his way to Brisbane, picked up by a sniffer dog with a package of cash containing $50,000 and traces of drugs. Mayor Pasali reportedly has since offered an explanation for the cash to the AFP. The detection has sparked a wide-ranging investigation. Nine News can confirm crime and corruption Commission officials raided his office and home. The Triple C confirming it executed a search warrant at Ipswich City Council yesterday related to an ongoing investigation. They had a, a search warrant and they were looking for particular material um, in relation to an investigation which may or may not directly involve the mayor. I don't believe that uh, Paul Pasali would have taken this step unless it was something very serious. So we will await to see what the Triple C has to say. As you know, over the years I've um, cooperated wholeheartedly with the, with the Triple C and I intend to continue to do that. It's been a fast and furious descent for the Ipswich mayor. Just three days after being intercepted at the airport, Paul Pasali says his health begins to deteriorate. On June 5, the Triple C raided his home and office. The same day, he's hospitalised after an MS attack. The next day, he announces he's quit as Ipswich mayor. And sometimes you think you're bulletproof. And I think that's probably the biggest decision I've made. His resignation ends two decades of service to Queensland's fastest growing city, filled with the highs of council success, but in recent years tainted by controversy. A 2015 Triple C probe investigated allegations of undeclared gifts and donations, and in April he again fronted the watchdog on claims of corruption. None of those allegations ever stuck. I'm uh, personally saddened uh, with Paul's resignation today. He's been a councillor since 1991 and I guess he's uh, become known as Mr Ipswich. Tonight, Mr Ipswich's reputation and future hangs in the balance. My journey has been going for about 26 years and I'm, I'm so proud to be um, a mayor that's been able to represent such a, a wonderful city. Live now to Joel Dry. Uh, Joel, has there been any sign of Mr Pizzali since that shock announcement? No, Andrew, no sign. Shortly after that press conference, he disappeared into his hospital room and we haven't seen him since. There is no word yet on how long he will remain in hospital, but while he does, that Triple C investigation will be ongoing. We understand they will be looking at the exact source of that $50,000 in cash. Reportedly, they'll be investigating an overseas Asian developer. As for the role of mayor, well, that will be temporarily filled by Councillor Paul Tully, a replacement a more permanent replacement will be found via a by-election to be held within three months. Andrew? Thanks, Joel.